And thank you for staying with us, Citizen Weekend. I've got a co-host with me in studio tonight. This is Conscience. I'm so excited. I could scream right, right. now. Karibu. That um, means welcome. Welcome asante, to Kenya. Asante. Oh, yeah. see, he knows the Swahili. Glad I learned. So we'll be talking to Conscience live on our one-on-one -on -one shortly. What are we expecting from you, sir? Whatever you give to me is whatever I give back. Okay. A little bit of a sing song of what? Maybe, maybe is. not, maybe. You know. <laughs> You know, all dancehall art, dancehall fans in Kenya are so excited, and not just yeah. dancehall fans, but just everybody. Literally, is just saying conscience, conscience, conscience. So thank you so much for visiting our country. Thank you for visiting Kenya. Thank you for visiting our Happy studios. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. I'm Happy more excited than the fans to be here. Okay. So you, you are excited. You can imagine how excited I am to be next to you right now. From Great. Shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> so we're taking a short break, and when we return, more of conscience. See you in a bit. Right, well, that's all we have today on the sports test, but of course, lots more lined up this weekend. Remember, we have our team still out in London, and we'll have stories from them tomorrow, and of course, on Sunday, two marathons the London Marathon and the Rotterdam yeah. Marathon. So, <laughs> You need to keep it Citizen Hello. TV. But for now, don't believe everything you read on social media. Only Citizen TV is live with Conscience in Studio. Lillian Muli Kanene on standby with that interview. Lillian, what do you have for us? Thank you for that, Wahiga. Indeed, as you just heard from Wahiga there, tonight in studio we've got a musical powerhouse with us in studio. And he's been described by many as the new face of a dance hall. He's conscious and he's with us in studio. What's up? Wow. <laughs> what Big an intro. introduction. Wow. Big intro, yeah. Thank you very much. Big name. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So what are we expecting from you tonight again? Let me tonight. ask. Tonight. It's all about whatever you ask, I will answer. Okay. Yeah. So you heard the man, you heard it from the man himself. What do you want to know about conscience? Write to us at Citizen TV Kenya, at Citizen TV News. The hashtag is one on one. Let us know what you want to know about conscience, and I'll be asking him those questions. We'll be right back in a bit. Don't go anywhere. And he is live. He's right here on our one on one. The hashtag is one on one. And if you want to talk to him, if you want to interact with him on Twitter, his Twitter handle is at Conscience Soja. Let me just spell it for you at Conscience. That's Conscience K O N S H E N S. And then Soja comes right after that S O J A H. So Conscience Soja. So tweet him, talk to him, ask him whatever you want to ask him. He's live, he's in studio. Welcome. Caribou Kenya. You're welcome to Kenya. 
Oh, well, yes. Let Asante. me try a bit of Jamaican wagwan. Please don't. <laughs> You're going to show don't. me up. I can't no, speak okay, Swahili. But what do, how do you respond when somebody says wagwan? There are so many ways. One Not way. Not nagwan. Okay. Uh, beer things are gone. Okay. Enough things are gone. Okay. That means what's going on? Wagwan. No, it means a lot of, of things are happening. Or there's nothing happening. But if I say wagwan, what am I saying? If you say wagwan, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Sounds right. What's happening, yeah. Great. So, Garfield is your name. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> that's Unfortunately, my name. Really nice name. So your full name? Garfield Delano Spence. Okay, Garfield Spence. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cute. I like it. It's an old man's name, but I'm okay. stuck with it, I guess. All right. So how did you come up with conscience? Um? I didn't. It, w it was actually given to me by friends growing up. Um, I was that person that tries to put a reason behind every action. Mm -hmm. So I was like a conscience in their mind. Okay. So, so you, just gave me the name. So you kind of felt it differently from the way conscience is Yeah, I, um, when it was given to me as, as a stage name now, I just switch it up a little bit for, for in, in, in Patwa. Uh -huh. You know, Patwa is our native language, right. so just take off the, the traditional spelling and Patwa it up a little bit. Okay, and it's tuck and you're, I mean, I was, I was reading you up and you've been called the new face of dance hall. The guy that like has it, come though. onto the stage and revolutionized the entire reggae dance hall scene. I don't like it. You don't like it? No. Why not? I think they like to, the people like to sensationalize things, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I think what, it, what that does to artists is, is it put too much pressure on the artist's back, mm -hmm. you know? And I've been doing music for a while now. I don't, I don't think that's something I want to take up on my back. Well, that's pretty humble because a lot of people will be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If it, whatever <laughs> works for them, you know, but for me, I just want to do good music for the fans. Okay. It doesn't matter if I'm the number one artist or if I'm just a good artist. Mm -hmm. The fans will, will, will talk. So you're, you're, you're a huge star, international star, big star, but even bigger here in Kenya. Big, I mean, dance hall fans just screaming out your name and so excited that you're here in Kenya. What yeah. brings you to Kenya? Guinness. Mm -hmm. um, they have this new promotion that they're doing now and I'm just here to launch it in the proper fashion. Okay, so and the fact that they actually sought you out means that you know they've done their market research and know that yeah. you're quite a big deal here. Yeah. Yeah, um, so first time in Kenya? Second time. Second time? Yeah. Okay, when were you last here? I think it was two years ago, I'm not sure. But I know that I fell in love. With Kenya? With Kenya. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> what did you like about it? Everything. Uh -huh. Like? The only thing I don't like about Kenya is the traffic. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you I can't guess. escape that. That's everywhere in the world, you know? Uh -huh. Everything else is good. The food is good. The hospitality is good. It's better this time. Than it was before? Yeah. This place I'm staying at, I won't say the name. Is <laughs> I'm sure everybody <laughs> wants to know where are you staying? It's the best. No, trust me. Um, Guinness the, the, and, and the promoters, they really went all out. Mm -hmm. um, the hospitality is, is very That's nice. Great. Yeah. Okay, so you mentioned that you've enjoyed our Kenyan food. What particularly have you tasted that hasn't got to your tummy like feeling funny? Um, you know, I don't think it's 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 the traditional Kenyan dishes. It's just the way that Kenyans prepare mm -hmm. the food that I know. I don't really try food like try stuff. And yeah, clearly from your body frame, you're not. Yeah, I'm not. I don't explore with food, okay. but I'll have some food. Okay. Any similarities? Um, you know, you've you've seen here in Kenya, perhaps with back home in Jamaica, something that makes you go like, wow, that's kind of that kind of reminds me of home. Um, the knowledge of the music. Mm -hmm. I think the Kenyan DJs and the Kenyan people, they're really up to date with what's happening okay. in dance style and in reggae. Okay. They're really up to date. And, and for you international um, artists, when you come to a place like Africa, here in Kenya for instance, when you come here and you see people singing along to your songs, people dancing along, people even like actually um, killing it on the dance floor like your Jamaican yeah. girls do it because I know they're pretty good dancers. How yeah. does that make you feel as an artist? I feel good about it. The first time it was a surprise, like mm -hmm. the, the very first time I got off the plane. And, and, and people cell phone ringing and it's my song and yeah. then we went to the show and people sing word for word. That was a big surprise. Mm -hmm. You understand? That was my first time in Africa overall. And I, I was proud. Yeah. But now I'm more, I'm just happy. Yeah, because you know? a lot of people have this negative perception of Africa. I've had questions like, you, you see the media, <laughs> the media, yeah. it paints a picture of Africa that, yeah. trust me, you understand? But to, to come here and see it for myself and feel it for myself, 
big difference. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, and you know, you mentioned that you've been Afri in Africa three times. You've been where this else? This is the third time I've been to Uganda. Okay. Yeah. So very close, East Africa, part of, of course, um, East Africa, um, Uganda, Kenya, very close to each other. Yeah. Um, the reception of your music is well similar? Same energy. Okay, same, same energy. Same energy, yeah. Great. Okay, so um, let's talk about you, Conscience, and um, just um, the fact that, like I mentioned before, um, people are calling you uh, um, dance halls in yeah. your face. Where do you draw your inspiration from? Um, not where did this all start, but where do you draw your inspiration from when you're writing, when you're performing? Um, when I first started out, it was just a reflection of my life. Mm -hmm. Just the things that are happening around me and the topics that I think people can relate to. You understand? But now it's all of that plus songs directed at specific fans. Like uh, the fan base is broad now. I have old fans, young, um, young fans. Mm -hmm female fans, male fans, I understand children are going to school and so I, I like to do songs specifically for the fan base. Okay. So when people say, oh, too much X-rated songs, too many of the bubbling and the dancing, this is for the girls. Yeah. You understand? And then there's a different set of songs I do for the girls about female empowerment mm -hmm. and, and being ambitious and being uh, and working hard for the females and not de being dependent. Then for the man, it's, it's, it's likewise, you know, you have the aggressive side, the party side as well as you balance it with. You want to teach them about love and you want to teach you them about working hard as well. So just doing songs towards specific fans. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so let me talk about the X-rated, uh, you know, like you said. Yeah, uh, talk about <laughs> that. The girls, you know, um, <laughs> getting down and, 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 you know, dressed in really short, skimpy. And I know that, you know, that the guys love those and the girls as well, you know, draw a lot of inspiration perhaps mm -hmm. from that dressing and what have you. But then you've got your fair share of, co of conservatives who think that it may be a bit too much um, yep. for the eye. So how do you deal with that kind of criticism? Um, so you're watching it, the TV, right? Yeah. And the video comes on, gala bubble. You mm -hmm. see the girls in the little shorts and yeah. And you see them dancing and you mm -hmm. think- Watching them cars. Yeah, you're watching it. And <laughs> are you on YouTube and you're seeing it? Yeah. And you're thinking, this is too X-rated. Mm -hmm. You pick up the remote. You change the pressure. Oh, you did not just say that. Are you serious? How about it's that? It's just like that. Just change it. It's, okay. it's that easy. If you don't like it, change yeah, it. Yeah, what, what you find happening is people will highlight the negative mm -hmm. and push it to the forefront. Whereas if I do a song singing about girls and partying, chances are I did three songs singing about love or singing about other topics that you probably never heard. Yeah. Because these ones are the ones that get pushed to the fore because the ones, the people who like them, put them in front. And the people who hate them put them in front to prove a point. So, mm -hmm. so, so what you're saying pretty much is that you know, to scale the heights that you have as an individual, as a star, as a professional, yeah. this is your career. You've got to have some tough skin. Yeah, basically, mm -hmm. if you don't in this business, you need to have it okay. because everybody's going to have something to say, negative and positive, and you can't let either of them get to your head. Mm -hmm. You know, Great. everybody's the biggest fan. Everybody that loves you is the biggest fan. Yeah. And if you walk and say, everybody that loves me is the biggest fan, you'll probably start thinking you're the only one in fans. Yeah. I, I, I say that as well. And, you know, it's, you know? Just, it's just good to know that there's, that there's somebody out there who's as bold as you who can yeah. actually say, I'm, I'm done with this negative yeah. um, publicity, negative energy. Probably. I just want the positives in my life. Okay, great. Um, and let's um, talk about, you know, you've toured the world extensively, Europe, yeah. the US, what have you. Um, so you've got this sound that has been accepted even in Japan. So yeah. as an artist, how do you get to that level? Because, you know, a lot of artists start back home. So the market they're looking at is the one that's mm -hmm. right at home. So you understand what people at home like. You understand um, what, what dance is mm -hmm. the latest dance. So how do you yeah. actually appeal to an international market? This is for an international, um, somebody who's aspiring to, be, to go international. Um, I can use my experience. And, and give them advice. Mm -hmm. um, for me, my career started in Japan, which you know is looking at where Jamaica is, yeah. is the total opposite side of the world. Mm -hmm. And what that did was it showed me that the music that I'm doing is bigger than just than the life that I'm living. Basically, there are people that take the music very seriously. There are people that really love the music and live by it and and enjoy it. So um, I need to cater to them. Mm -hmm. I can I can choose not to because it's not I'm, I don't have to, but if you really appreciate fans and you really want the people to gravitate towards your music, you have to you have to take them into consideration. So I couldn't be on this show right now, talking to you and to the millions of people watching. I say, yeah man, you don't know, car. Yeah, same as I say, <laughs> you see me yard man thing man, you don't know rope shops. 
What Nobody would understand. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, but, but so, I wish you could just keep keep at it. It's yeah, very, then we yeah, could do this all cool. night and nobody yes. understands. Yeah. But after a while, um, you start to appreciate the fact that people need to know what's happening and, and they want your product. And if you're going to give it to them, you have to kind of scale it down. I, 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 you understand? Okay. So I think that opened up my eyes from the start of my career and it was a blessing and a curse. Mm -hmm. More of a blessing. Yeah, but it must take a lot of confidence to perform um, in front of, I mean, in some of these nations where perhaps there's not a single African face. They can't dance too well and you know how it is when, when yeah. Oh, you know. no. I mean, um, when, the, when the music starts and you see the reaction from the people, mm -hmm. It gives you the energy? You, you kind of, yeah, you, you lose yourself. You kind of just get sucked into that whole environment. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, uh, what challenges have you faced in the industry? Wow. Um, you know, you are a big deal, like I said, but it's not been easy. It never is for yeah. anybody. So what can you say has been your most challenging moment through all of this as your star continues to rise and rise? There's no one most challenging moment. Mm -hmm. um, the challenges will come. Like anything else in life, any, 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 any field that you get into, you'll face a whole bunch of challenges. But you have to just develop with the thick skin mm -hmm. and hopefully you develop it sooner and later. You know, for me, getting, getting ready to play, getting play in the streets, getting play internationally, which is kind of the most important thing for our artists. Mm -hmm. um, learning the stagecraft because I wasn't a people person. Um, so to, to, to stand up in front of all of these people that want you to entertain them now, that can does that can do something to your psyche so yes, yes. to prepare yourself for that and then everybody that wants a picture you have to understand that these people are your fans and mm -hmm. you have to appreciate them and you can't just walk right. past them yeah you understand knowing when to draw the line a whole lot of things you have to learn then there's challenges that that will come from other people that that see you as competition okay so the yeah. list goes on and on and on yeah but um back home um in kingston or even across the world who whose music inspires you like wow. what sound do you listen to and go like wow i like that job i like that people Apart always ask me that. everything i listen to everything every mm -hmm. genre do you know any of our kenyan artists i know songs i'm not that familiar with that which artists. song which particular I, I, I would know probably <laughs> if you play it i would say i know it okay but right. I, I couldn't sing it i don't speak swahili yeah so. though there's been talk that you're going to join up you know for a possible collab with a kenyan artist is that true um i've heard about it and it's and i'm definitely open to it because you no know, do good music over here okay. there's good music happening so okay. you know yeah anything is possible the right chemistry the right vibe the right production it can work all right and let's zoom in on what conscience is wearing this guy is i don't know if if the right word to use is stylistic but you're dressed really good can you, can you zoom <laughs> start with the feet and stay there yeah for a while? oh my goodness because Look at those this is shoes. my shoe line that's your shoe line yeah cons really? 876 are they out in the market not in this market yet are you planning to bring them to this market i'm definitely planning so yeah wow he's got a fashion line and what the rest you're wearing as well i don't know who these guys are you don't know but you paired them up pretty yeah. well but i love them shoes those are really Thank do you, you have girl, girly ones or do you just do for not guys? in this design but there are other designs for female okay. and the girls are loving them all over the world right now great loving that's, them okay that's great um so let's talk about um your performance uh, tomorrow yes. what, are, what are the fans expecting to see from you to hear from you all the hits and i keep saying this that i'll be singing until the microphone gets cut off wow because i don't know what songs are big here Mm -hmm. So if you find a little spot in another show where you're missing a song that you don't know, mm -hmm. you just wait. Probably the song coming right after it is a song that you love. So yeah. I'm going to sing everybody's song. Yeah, and somebody was asking on Twitter about your dancers. Is there like a dance academy in Jamaica? <laughs> All the girls can dance. So tomorrow, um, are you performing with dancers? Do you come with your dancers? Are you coming to the show? I should. Yeah, when yeah. you get to the show, we'll, we'll talk about that. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the girls in Jamaica. And we're talking about this earlier conscience and the fact that they can really get down yeah. what's that about um the culture yeah i think we're a party country you understand like i said we work hard but we play we play just as hard and the people the girls there they, they, they take the dancing really seriously mm -hmm. like a lot of people making money off of being dancers we being choreographers and and it's it's more of a cultural thing than just a pastime okay you know okay and you know tell us a bit about jamaica um yeah. A lot of negative publicity. Yeah, let me there. be the ambassador now. <laughs> be the ambassador. You yeah. never know. Um, just something that people may not know about about you guys um, in Kingston, because you know every time people talk about Kingston, they talk about ganja, weed, mm -hmm. violence, riots. What have you? Poverty sometimes. 
Um, but then again, there's a lot of beautiful things, beautiful weather, um, a lot of just great things happening there. So sure. Uh, it's just unfortunate because it, the natural, the way all the, the human psyche is, is, is the negative always it comes to the forefront in your mind. You know, so even when the positives are right there in your face, you tend to overlook it because of the negative publicity. You understand, we have athletes, we have the music, we have the food, we have the culture, the, 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 um, the sites. Mm -hmm. the, the entire Jamaican experience is one that okay. you can't really just describe, you have to really come and feel it. Okay. Just like me being in Jamaica, not knowing that Kenya was this type of place, you know. Very beautiful. And yeah. Yeah. Um, where do you plan to go? Um, we've got beautiful parks. We've got hopefully a beach at the coast. Hopefully. Yeah. All right. Well, we have beaches in Jamaica. <laughs> Very but our nice beaches ones. are different. But what All we don't have in, in Jamaica mm -hmm. is the safari, the national park, the yeah. parks that you have that. Where you actually get to see a lion right here. Right. I don't know if I want to see that. <laughs> You'll be but in the van. You'll be I want. I, I, I want. I want to go to the to the park. We should be going there tomorrow. Okay. Great. Yeah. That's that's awesome. Um. And you know, out of all the songs you've done, the hit simple song Galababo, We Are Hustle. What is your favorite? What would you say for you as an artist? And I know it's hard because all music it's is not. close to your heart. I mean, everything it's that not. you produce or perform to is probably like your baby. So which one would you say is your It's favorite? not very hard. It's um, not hard? It's a song called The Realest Song. It's a keep bad mind out of my heart. Keep negative out of my thought. No say it's easy if we pray the wrong way. Charge your face, guide me every day. I don't know if you know what that means, but... I, I do. I, I, know? I did understand what you're saying. Good. I can't that, believe you just asked that. That, without a doubt, is... is has been and continues to be my favorite song. Yeah, it's very positive. I love it. The yeah. message is deep. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Um, so will you sing us something? Right now? Yeah. Let's go. Cool. What do you want to do? Anything. Give me a rhythm. Okay. DJ I was going to sing backgrounds. You sing backgrounds? No, no, no. I don't sing. I sing in the shower. <laughs> okay, DJ. Uh, Crossfade, let's hear something from you. The streets are tired, in the road from the air to the road, the road from the air to the road, from the road from town to country, every youth, say your money we are go for, strength in my back, so my mother can suffer, me say, we are also, 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 we we are also, 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 and love, and that's another positive message. Yeah. We hustle. But well, you know what happened too? The way that it is brought across, people don't realize the deep message behind it. You know? I like to talk about ambition. I think I'm a very ambitious person. Mm -hmm. And my life, I like to, I like to, 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 to um, Give me that word. What's the word? You like you. You're I a very like ambitious to, person. You like to. Like you're to a go-getter. Is that inspire. what you're saying? Okay. You like to inspire. Yes. Okay. All the youths to be ambitious because I believe that brought me to where I am. And you're a youth yourself. Yeah, I'm very young. Very young. Yeah. That's relative. How yeah. is very? How 13, old is very young? Thirteen, almost fifteen. <laughs> yeah. So I like no. to inspire all the, the youths to be very ambitious because I think that will that will be the, the, the deciding factor mm -hmm. if you set it for nothing or if you want to continue to work and work and, and build yourself and build a brand so yeah. that's great that's that's I, I love the message in that song yeah man um and you know family wise are you are you like an only child do you have siblings no, do you I have, have many i have many siblings uh -huh. i have um three brothers two sisters three brothers two, two sisters are you the last one since you said you're no, a youth i'm right in the middle right in the middle like me yeah. me too yeah but i only have brothers Okay. Um, yeah, and um, 
you know, just going forward, um, Conscience, I want you to talk to us just about the fact that you say you like to inspire and you like to preach positive message aside from the X-rated stuff, which you said mm -hmm. if you don't want to listen to, switch off. Switch, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so just inspire the youth here in Kenya who are facing similar challenges, perhaps to the youth out there in Kingston, Jamaica. Uh, talk to them because a lot of times young people listen to a message from somebody as young as they are and looking at you perhaps loving your swag, loving your style, loving your music, the points will probably hit home faster. You know what, what, what always connected with me when I was younger, when I was going to school? Like they would send people to talk to us, but then the person that you see talking to you tries to come across as a perfect person. And you will naturally rebel, you will naturally say, listen, but I don't want to be perfect. I'm not perfect, I'm far away from perfect. So I, I, I'd like to highlight the fact that I'm nowhere near perfect. You know, you, you, people can see your life and people will assume what your life is like and, 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 and make up their own stories in their mind. But what I can say is this, if you believe in yourself and you work hard, then you will be in a position to, to, to better yourself. You understand? And it won't even matter to anybody else if you're perfect. So you can be whoever you want to be as long as you believe in yourself. You understand? So ambition, ambition is the word that I like to throw out, I'll throw it all the way around. Okay. Be ambitious. Be ambitious and believe in yourself. You like that? Thank you. Yeah, Brought it here to my heart. Though, <laughs> so have you arrived? Have you reached? I mean, as, as conscience, can you confidently say in your life you've gotten to the level where Nowhere near you're it. now comfortable or are we expecting to see more? Nowhere near it. Mm -hmm. Um, success is a journey, not a destination. So, you oh my gosh, I have to write that down. It's right here. That's awesome. Oh, that's what your tattoo says. Let's let's zoom in onto that. Yeah. Come on, we'd like to see um, what his success is a journey. Is a journey. Not a destination. Not a destination. So you can never tell yourself that you have arrived, that you've made it. Okay. You see, that's the moment you start to step on people and you start to treat people like they're nothing. So every time you look at your arm, that's that's your mantra. Yeah, I try not to look much. at it though, so I can just be. A <laughs> <laughs> no, but for, yeah. it's serious though. So you've still got a long way to go as far, far as you're concerned. And yet there's somebody who's watching you and thinking, man, I wish I could be this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for um, uh, coming through. I'm st I mean, let's take a look at the tweets that people are sending in. Twitter right, is go. going crazy. Everybody's so excited that you're live on one-on-one. -on -one. So let's see uh, what guys are saying on Twitter. There we go. Yes, the dance hall man himself, all the way from Jamaica. Give it up for at Conscience Soldier. And thanks to Citizen TV News for holding an interview with him. Thank you, baby Gaito. Galito. Galito. Oh, you can see far. Conscience yeah. should know that in Kenya he has all our support. We love you, Conscience. Big up all Kenya. Big up all Kenya. <laughs> That's what he says. Conscience is my favorite dance hall artist. Respect. All this love coming your way. Big up, Conscience. Your music gets me high whenever you are on the floor. On the floor, that's what you say, right? On the floor, yeah. Yeah, I like the way Conscience is simple and without complications. Yeah. Oh, that's a sweet one. And, uh, yeah, okay. So, an interview with Conscience shows that Kenyans still have swag. Thank you, Citizen TV. You are still number one. Thank you. Yeah, so honored to have him here. Hard Citizen TV News gets to interview artists first before others still baffles me. Wow, this gets better. Yeah, okay. Okay, I can't see that far. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, Shu. Um, so, you know, he's, he's going to be performing live tomorrow at the Guinness Evolution night, yeah. Party, right? What time? I don't know the time. I think the gates open at 7. I'll be there because I want to see all the artists, all the Kenyan artists. I want to yeah, see because you've got cotton razors. Um, I know a couple of cotton razors, including Kenwa Maria, will be cotton razors. Yeah, so I'll be there early. Okay. And it Great. will be great. I've seen the setup, I've seen the stage, the venue. It mm -hmm. should be nice. Okay, are we expecting you back in Kenya soon? Maybe not. Okay, and the ladies, maybe not. Maybe Why, not. You've got a lady back home waiting for you. Well, uh, that's not the point, though. What's the point? The point is you don't want to you don't want to over expose yourself, you know. So yeah. you come here, you, you make your presence felt, and you kind of give it a year. Okay. Are you I, have you been busy lately? Are you on planning some sort of world tour or? I'm currently touring right now. Okay, you're currently on tour. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Um. So you didn't quite answer me. The girls are asking. Is you are asking. Uh, what no, I'm not asking. <laughs> <laughs> this question. Yeah. So, is, 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 is Conscience taken? Is Garfield taken? Is he single? Is he single? Let me just say that no man mm -hmm. 
in 2014 is single. I've said this so many times today. That's a player speaking. No man in 2014 is single, ladies. Okay, meaning right? what? So all the men that are lying to the ladies, you better stop. True, and, and you know I'm what? selling you out. That's, yeah, that's food for thought. Guys, that's what you should be answering every time if you're asked. If you're food for thought for the girls too, you should, you know, maybe you shouldn't ask. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't ask. Yeah. No, girls, girls <laughs> like to ask. Girls like to ask. Um, so, you know, what will you, just two lines of a song, man, please, as a teaser to your concert tomorrow as we wind up. <laughs> no retreat, no surrender. Tonight I love in your rep on the agenda. So don't try to run, do back down. Don't try to take me for no clone. How many lines was that? <laughs> don't you try to con me. Baby, don't you try to trick me up now. How many lines was that? <laughs> we no fight no for nobody. But we respect everybody. But we better than everybody. So we can run with anybody. And I say no hesitation. Tomorrow, KICC are the destination. Make sure you'll be coming, coming, because I'm going. Big up. Thank you so much. Thank um, you for having your me. Your biggest fan alive, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sure, I'm, sure. I'm sure. But too. I just want to ask don't you try con me? Is that. Um, inspired by real events from a girl that tried real to play events. you, con you. It happened. Really? What happened? She tried to con me and I was like, don't Con you try. of what? Con you of your heart? You know, con you yeah. of your it's emotions? The video, the video. Con you of money? Not money. Mm -hmm. But you know, she tried, she's a player. She's a player. And she was a player and she was trying to play me. So, so I inspired. got played, you know. And Lyrics inspired by real life events. Real life events, Great. unfortunately. Thank you for coming to it's an honor and we've been talking to conscience live on one on one thank you so much for watching catch him tomorrow at the guinness evolution party don't miss it gates will be open like he said at 7 p.m where at kicc KICC. at kicc so make your way down there and have a blast thank you so much for watching it's been real have a wonderful evening good night Chip in the turbo, turn it up. This year me chip in the turbo. Yeah. We turn on the turbo. Turn it time enough. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Tell me self, say me not broke again. Yeah. Yeah. Swear to God, say me not broke again. I can't believe me, me not broke again. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Hey. Just go. Forward, 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 forward.